Saga! Welcome! Delivery from Australia, namely pop culture of course, has arrived. There is a brand new release Funko Pop in here, and there's a soda, because I haven't got soda in quite some time, and although it was a little bit of an impulsive purchase, it will kind of fit with my pop collection, as um, this is the only soda released in that particular line so far, to the best of my knowledge. That one's not exactly a new release, but I don't think it's been out a year yet. But anyway, we'll get on to that second. First of all, we'll open the box and I'll show you what new pop I've got. So this is in a range where there's been a few new releases come out recently. I showed a two pack that I'd also got from Pop Culture. Let's see how Pop Culture have done with packaging. Not so bad again. I'm not too worried about the condition of the pop box as this will be an out of box pop for me. But there's a bit of padded air. Oh, and the soda has come in one of those uh, can holders or whatever it is. I think I've got three or four of those now. Close the knife up. Safety first, I shouldn't need that again. The brand new Funko Pop, it's not been out very long at all. It goes in my wrestling collection. It is number 119 in the WWE line. It is Bam Bam Bigelow. Now, I was really pleased when I saw that Bam Bam Bigelow was coming out because not only was he one of the wrestlers who I remember from my childhood, he had a stint in the WWF in the mid to late 80s, left for a while for Japan, I think. Uh, came back in the early 90s, had another fairly good run. His arguable peak as a kind of top-level superstar was when he main evented WrestleMania 11, losing to the American football player Lawrence Taylor in a match that, while it was no means a classic, thanks to Bam Bam and his experience, it was better than it had any right to be. This is also actually glow-in-the-dark pop as well, so if I remember, <laughs> I do forget sometimes, I'll um, try and get some footage with my UV torch to see which parts of him glow. And then on the back, ah, now on the back we can see a couple actually of the new pops that haven't yet come out. I've got Jerry Lawler, got Dusty Rhodes, got Matt Riddle. I've got an older version of Randy Orton. Now, and these are the two that I'm waiting for. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Rhea Ripley. I have ordered those, so expect to see an unboxing of those at some point on this channel, hopefully sooner rather than later. All my wrestling pops are out of box because I keep them in cabinets behind me, so I'm gonna get this out now and Bam Bam can stay out. I think Bam Bam's an excellent pop to come out just because he's always had a very unique look with his tattooed head and his sort of flame-colored clothes. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic that. I've got a feeling, looking at this pop, it's probably going to be the flames on his outfit that are going to glow, but you'll have seen on screen whether that's the case or not. Here he is, Bam Bam Bigelow from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Really good this. He was such an agile big man. You know, he weighed well over 300 pounds, but he could fly from the top rope. He was quite speedy in the ring for a man of his size. You know, it was one of those few kind of super heavyweights that could move like a guy a hundred pounds lighter than him. Of course, his trademark tattooed bald head here. I'm assuming this is great detail. I mean, you always see Bam Bam's tattoos on his head when you watch him in old wrestling footage and you see him in websites, magazines, whatever. This is probably the first time I've had to have a real good look and whether I can say that's 100% accurate or not, I don't know, but it looks really unusual regardless. He's got a beard and then here is his um, wrestling attire that's always got the flames on it, like a real nice sort of fire motif. You can also see he's got other tattoos on his arms, and he's got black wrestling boots, white wristbands, excellent stuff. Bam Bam Bigelow, he's not a Hall of Famer yet, I don't think, or is he? I can't remember. If not, he should be a Hall of Famer because although he never won any world titles in WWF or WCW for that matter, he is one of the most memorable and underrated, I would say, wrestlers of the 80s and 90s, and um, he passed away too young. I don't think he gets the due respect that he deserves, but this has gone some way towards remedying that by bringing him out in Funko Pop, aka Dolly form. We can continue with the fun. There's a soda to open here, nothing to do with wrestling. 
I think there is one or maybe two WWE sodas that have come out, but I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I only got this one because it was one character in a line and that's it. And they might bring more out, which is fair enough. But in a way, I hope they don't because of the lack of space I've got. Just chuck this funny can holder, can cooler thing over there show you this parks and recreation soda the only one that's come out so far this one is ron swanson of course played by nick offerman in the nbc mockumentary i've talked about parks and rec and how much of a fan of it i am uh, very much like the office at least when it started it kind of morphed into something different as it got going and not really that comparable by the end but um, still a funny show i've collected all the characters in pop form there behind me in this cabinet over to my far left here this will be the international version you can see the parks and rec logo up there and apparently this is only 6,000 pieces so not many of these i'm assuming that's not including the non-international cans so maybe it's 12,000 really who knows and more importantly who cares so let me crack open this can well take the cellophane off first I've got my soda can opening tool if I need it. Yes, it's just a butter knife, but um, I'm hoping I might be able to get this off by myself. No, I can't get a good enough grip on it. it looked like it was coming off. This is going to flirt. Yeah. I always like to give it a shake just to make sure that the pog is in there. And it sounds like it is, but I've not looked. I don't know what the chase is for this. From my experience, a lot of the chasers don't look as good as the commons anyway. Some of them do. Either way, I don't really tend to mind. I'm buying a soda because I want the character, I want the figure. Not because I'm trying to play chase roulette or I'm just obsessed with, um, you know, the sort of gambling aspect to the whole soda. I was going to call it a fad then, but I don't think you can call them a fad by now. So here he is, I think that's just going to be the common, him holding his mug of coffee there. Even though these soda figures are very cartoony, and that's good really, um, you know, they've got a distinctive look that separates them from Pops and any other Funko figures. You can still tell it's Ron Swanson, Nick Offerman right away, with his big bushy moustache and his sort of slightly vexed look on his face there. They've done the hair nice, he's got like a maroon collared shirt on left hand in his pocket, black belt, sort of khaki grey trousers and brown shoes, like that a lot. We will go to the park for confirmation that this is the common, yep certainly is. Ron Swanson is one out of 5,000, very happy with that. As I say, I'm not entirely sure what the chase is, it's easy to go and look that up if you're really interested, either would have been fine by me. Ron Swanson and of course we started out with the Funko Pop of WWE legend Bam Bam Bigelow. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed this double unboxing of Funko Pop and a Funko Soda. You sure get value for money on this channel. I want to say special thanks as always to my wonderful subscribers and my generous patrons. Please see a load of Funko affiliate links, including one from HMV, which of course you can get more than just Funko products from. There's still the link down there where you can get 20% off your next purchase. There's other great referrals as well from companies that I recommend and trust. And don't forget, of course, there's my Patreon page, my Facebook group page, and also a referral for content insurance, all down there. Lots to look at in the description. I'm gonna go now got some arranging to do got to put bam bam into one of the cabinets behind me and then over yonder in my welsh dresser oh yes welsh indeed i've got room not much more room for one or two sodas so ron swanson's gonna go in there and i do hope that all of you will join bam bam ron and myself next time for my next funko pop and or funko soda unboxing cheers everyone See ya!